about let's throw out even though guys are gonna hate me for this the multi offenders the worst offenders in MMA for getting popped for multiple drugs and steroids and getting popped multiple times by far the worst offender and this is not because of my personal past with this guy by far everyone says the worst offender is Josh Barnett Josh Barnett popped at UFC 32 for two different steroids he merely got a warning because it really wasn't official testing back then popped at UFC 36 when he won the title over Randy Couture so that should have been no contest and this title never should have been he shouldn't be referred to as a former UFC heavyweight champion in my opinion for three count of three steroids Boldenone Nandalone and another one I don't even know what it is Fleximesterone so first time two steroids a few UFC laters wins the title three steroids then he goes to Japan stays out of the US doesn't fight in the US for four and a half years then he pops and causes the end of Affliction 3 for a third time, time for Jostanalone. Now, that caused the cancellation. He was supposed to fight Fedor, Affliction 3, that caused the cancellation, the end of Affliction. 23 other fighters were supposed to get paid on that card. All those fighters at Affliction were testing their free market ability and we were getting the real worth of fighters, which if you see what the UFC just sold for $4.5 billion, the fighters themselves are worth more than they get paid in a lot of people's opinion and you could definitely say that Josh Burnett ruined that for everybody to test your free marketable ability and, and another organization that was willing to pay for you um, that hurt the entire sport in my opinion he popped three times for what six different steroids uh, well yeah, possibly I don't know what the first two steroids were maybe they were some of the same ones you know but but he popped a lot. Not only that, at Affliction 3, he said, nah, you got to test my B sample. B sample came back positive. Then he's supposed to go to in front of the California State Athletic Commission and then request a extension. And then another extension. And then another extension. Three extensions. A couple because of him. One because of his lawyer couldn't make it, supposedly. So, three extensions. So, the fourth time he's supposed to show up for the hearing, he no-shows it. He's in Japan, says his manager or girlfriend, and uh, you know won't be back till later that day. Didn't know he had to be there. Case X says, no, we've been notifying you. We've been sending you letters. We've been notifying you. We had to be there. So Josh Barnett, worst offender, um, and yet now he's still fighting. Where is he fighting? Places like Japan usually. You know, do they have their own commission? kind of for fighter safety not really for not really for testing okay you know they they may have judges and referees and you know some stuff like that but they they don't uh, you know does UFC when you do oversee stuff yeah they are able to oversee it however much or however little that they choose um, you know they were in Brazil for a while and Brazil got cab or whatever they got their own established but um, you know, when they go to like Australia and, and stuff like that, they've often acted as their own um, body, commissioning body, basically. So, Josh Barnett, you know, if I was fighting, you know, you were scheduled to fight a guy like Josh Barnett, you'd be like, yo, how many times have you tested him? I think he was only tested once recently. I, um, I can't find, or I've tried to go through it uh, to find all the random tests that have been done since USADA, USADA, I've been saying USADA, maybe like, like that. Uh, USA. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, Josh Burnett, the worst defender ever. 